Chase Young is off the board. How about the Titans go get you Davion Clowney? We talk about the Titans and how they could add a star defensive end or at least what was once a star defensive end. Once again in Nashville, we appreciate you watching Titans Today by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Jay Sanders, and well... I think defensive end may be a big position for the Titans as I know it's not as important on the offensive line and the way they played last year, but I still think it's a point of contingency for Rand Carthen and Brian Callahan to figure out before 2024. Before we get started, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button because if they sign Jadavion Clowney, if they sign a big name free agent or even some smaller name free agents, we will have a video for you right here on Titans Today. So hit that subscribe button, go to youtube.com slash Titans Today. You see it flashing on the bottom of your screen or little red subscribe button if you do it just below the video. Hit that, you'll join the fastest growing Titans community on YouTube. And I think we put out a pretty good product. So if you think so, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's kind of talk about this. And I want to bring this up real quick because uh, Titans analysts, Chase Young is visiting the Titans today. Titans today. He also visited the Panthers and the Saints, but apparently has removed Saints as a potential landing spot. Now, see here, Titans analysis, this is why you got to say report say, because he just signed with the New Orleans Saints, Chase Young did. Come on, man. In fact, funny enough, we had filmed a whole video talking about Chase Young, saying he could be a good addition in Tennessee. And guess what? Right as we were about to press enter, we were going to put it on to the interwebs for all to see. My finger was going down, and Chase Young signed with the Titans. So, Titan analysis, unfortunate, man, but it happens to the best of us. So, you know, there it is. But there you go. Adam Schefter with a report. Free agent defensive end Chase Young plans to sign a one-year fully guaranteed $13 million deal with the New Orleans Saints per sources. So, obviously, I had to kind of wash that video. Luckily, me and producer Sam were typing away, getting everything ready, and well, guess what? We came up with a list of the top four other free agent defensive ends that the Titans should be looking to sign. Here's what we got. Jadavion Clowney at the top of the list. I think he is the best one to add. Mike Dana, not a bad option. A Super Bowl champion last year with the Chiefs. Emmanuel Ogba, I think his time has passed him, but honestly, so is a lot of these guys. And Yannick Ngakwe is a... Oh, it's an option. I don't know that I would want to have him, but again, I think we're going to focus mainly on Jadavion Clowney because... We talked about this in a previous video, in fact, the last video, that the top two guys at defensive end that I could see the Titans still targeting were Chase Young and Jadavian Clowney. Guess what? One of those is off the board. And so, Clowney, who played with the Titans back in 2020, he stunk, but he still played. Eight games, four tackles for loss, 19 tackles, one force fumble, but has reinvigorated his career over the past couple of years, especially this past year with the Baltimore Ravens. Nine and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, nine tackles for a loss. Now, this is going to be able to add another vet presence. And obviously, I know that his time in Nashville is not looked upon fondly. But, hey, who's all for second chances? Especially when second chances come after a nine and a half sack season. Plus, I think if you're going to do sign clowning, you're going to sign him to a one-year deal, a prove-it type deal, which I'll kind of explain more in just a moment and how that could really help out the Titans and the way that Jadavion Clowney plays. But before we get to that, I have the question of, would you even like to sign Jadavion Clowney? Maybe I'm talking out of nowhere right now. Maybe you don't want him at all, and you think, ah, oh, no, 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 we are fine. No reason. I saw him in 2020. Don't want to see it again. Well, here's your time to let me know. If you'd like to sign him again, then type S. If you would say, nope, pass on him, then type P. Get that in the comment section and let me know your opinion. Are you bringing the vet in, or are you letting him go? S for sign, P for pass. Honestly, at this point, I'll take what I can get because we knew the defensive line was not exactly great, especially after losing to Nico Autry, but I'm going to show you the depth chart here in just a moment. It's not good. What would a contract for Jadavion Clowney look like? Well, that's what I want to first talk about because Chase Young obviously signed the one-year deal with the New Orleans Saints. $13 million deal, fully guaranteed. Now, in the contract that I was going to give Chase Young... It was going to be a one-year, $10 million deal with up to $15 million. So I think given Chase Young got the $13 million guaranteed, that's probably why he chose the Saints over other things. So in my mind, though, I'm thinking something a little bit similar for Clowney. I would say around the same area, maybe $11 million fully guaranteed, but make his incentives to where he could earn $14 million, put some sack bonuses in there, uh, games played, a bunch of different stuff you can honestly add in there. But I think you have to think probably along the same lines of contract-wise as Chase Young got for Jadavion Clowney. Now, I know there's a lot of things going into that, but still, 
And his age is more than Chase Young, so that's why I would say maybe $11 million guaranteed with a little bit more in the incentive value, especially since he's coming off a pretty good season back with Baltimore. This defensive line, though, it's just not good. I mean, Jeffrey Simmons is great. He's probably the second best defensive tackle in all of the National Football League behind Chris Jones. But besides that, I don't really know what to think. DeAndre Coburn was on the Chiefs practice squad until the Titans took him away. Rashad Weaver barely played at all last year. There's just nothing to this defensive line in terms of depth, in terms of, to be quite frank with you, talent that I've seen on the field. You need to bolster this up if you want to have a shot to have a, in some ways, competent defense. Because I know that the offense wasn't great last year in terms of blocking, but I really don't want to go a whole 180 and make the defensive line be terrible. Because, I mean, this right now just needs help. It, it just does. I don't care who it is. I don't care if you get clowny. If you don't, you got to do something. If that's in the draft, if that's now, whatever. You got to get this defensive line some help because, yikes, it's just not good. Now, I know that, obviously, offensive line has been addressed, and they want to make sure they keep going with that, but defensive line has also has to be a really big point of contention moving forward. All right, coming up, there were two other players, two players that had visits today, and maybe Rand Carthen could fill out the roster with some of these guys as him and Brian Callahan met with two guys. We'll tell you on those two in just a second, but forget that. we got to talk about the biggest signing for the Titans this offseason, and that is Calvin Ridley. Guess what? You can finally get the Ridley jerseys, the Ridley shirts. They got it all right now. Go to chatsports.com slash Ridley. Your Titans gear at a click of a finger. We'll have it in the links in the comments and the description. You can get the jersey. You can get the jersey shirt, whichever one you would like. And ladies, we didn't forget about you. You want to make sure to get your Calvin Ridley jerseys. We got you covered too. Chatsports.com slash Ridley. Again, you can get any jersey, any size. That way, you're fully ready for week one when Calvin Ridley catches his first touchdown pass from Will Levis. You got your Ridley jersey on. So, right down there in the comments in the description, chatsports.com slash Ridley. Justin Grover, obviously talking about Chase Young and some, or excuse me, Graver, excuse me. Uh, the offensive lineman, Andrus Pete, also had a visit today with the Titans, obviously Chase Young, ended up signing with the New Orleans Saints. And then safety, Marcus May. Uh, he obviously says, would be nice if they signed all three. Yes, it would be great. But uh, let's talk about signing the two of them because Andres Pete would be great. I know that this offensive line, again, has been struggling in a lot of facets over the past year. We know about the sack totals and the Titans being the fourth worst team in terms of sacks allowed. Well, Pete has played pretty consistently with the New Orleans Saints in his times there. And this past year, 13 games, just two sacks allowed, eight hits. Uh, 30 pressures isn't great, but again, the Saints team, just kind of like the Titans team, wasn't exactly... Uh, the most frivolous at quarterback, having some little bit of motion throughout there. Pete, though, brings some veteran experience. And on top of which, you think about this offensive line. You got Lloyd Cushenberry at your center. You're going to have Peter Skronsky at year two. You're hopefully going to have Joe Alt. This is really going to help the offensive line. And I say once again, it's time to overhaul it. I don't care who was on there last year. It just needs a reset. It just needs a complete and total reset besides Karonsky because I'm not going to blame the guy for being on a first-year first year deep basis and him playing with one of the worst offensive lines. It was just a tough situation for him and everybody involved. But you need to overhaul this offensive line. Now, I do want to quickly talk about what the Titans have done up until this point because I think it's important to really discuss what the needs are. Obviously, Tony Pollard was the first one off the board for the Titans. Kind of pseudo Derek Henry replacement. He's going to work with Tajay Spears, what I believe to be a two-running back system. Lloyd Cushenberry, the big offensive line sign, signing four years, $50 million, breaking a lot of records for centers in terms of signing bonus, uh, APY, a lot of good things. Awuzie, three-year, $36 million deal. Funny enough, his quote was honestly really good. He said, I want to join Brian Callahan because of the culture that I believe he will instill in Nashville. So I liked what he said there. Kenneth Murray, the Aziz al Shair replacement. Obviously, Aziz heading to the Texans with the Nico Autry. And then past that, got some depth options with Chestnut and Charles, the offensive tackle, and then Chestnut coming back on a deal as he goes one year, just under a million dollars. And then the big signings to me, Mason Rudolph, your backup quarterback, one year, $3.62 million deal. And Calvin Ridley, four years, $92 million. Uh, Ridley, guess what, buddy? You got to perform that way, but I truly believe that it was a pretty good sign. Uh, just going to have to see if that money was worth it, though, because that's the only thing. Is it may have been a bit of an overpay. I like what you bring to the table. And the last two deals we have, Nick Folk on a re-signing deal, one year, $3.7 million. 
And Nick Westbrook, Akine coming back again, so that wide receiver room. Starting to fill out there with Traylon Burks, Westbrook, Akine, Ridley, and DeAndre Hopkins. Lincoln. The one thing you did notice, Awuzie was the cornerback there, but besides that, not really a help in terms of secondary. Now, safety is important. I also think it's important to help out the cornerbacks with not just Awuzie. But let's talk safety real quick with Marcus May, who also visited the Titans today. Over 400 tackles, four and a half sacks, 28 pass breakups, eight interceptions in his career, and just under 80 games played. Now, although safety is a part of the secondary, it's really its own position, and it's really needed with the Tennessee Titans because uh, I know that last year with Christian Fulton at the cornerback room, uh, you had Sean Murphy bunting, but overall, the secondary as a whole just was not good. And I think Marcus May could bring some help in terms of really filling up the depth and in some ways, providing some experience, because I know that overall, Roger McCray is still pretty young, and uh, Christian Fulton, who's out the door now, Awuzie is a pretty good veteran-type experience. I still think that safety, though, is just a position the Titans need to look out for. Let's go back to that tweet from Graver. He obviously talked about uh, Andres Pete and Chase Young and Marcus May. Obviously, he says, would be nice if they sign all three. Can't get all three now, because Chase Young is a New Orleans Saint. One off the board? Two left to add. Let's go get both those guys, Andrews Pete and Marcus May. I feel like those would be great signings to help out the Kansas City Chiefs, along with if they can get Jadavion, or excuse me, the Tennessee Titans to help out and get Jadavion Clowney in there as well. All right, what's the Titans' biggest need here? Is it offensive line? Is it defensive line? Or is it cornerback? I know that all these positions are struggling and struggled last year, but which one is the most important? If it's offensive line, then type OL. If it's defensive line, then type DL. Is it cornerback slash secondary, whatever you call it? Type C and B. Now's your time to get in the way and let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, hit that subscribe button because obviously signings happen. We have videos right here on Titans today. So you're not going to miss out on any news, any rumors. We got you covered. Hit that subscribe button and Titans fans, say it in the comments with me. Tighten up and peace out.